TLU website, and it will list all the cases that are going on. But yeah, there are a number of cases that are going forward. Please. Um, the way you're presenting this is in a plain, nice way that anybody can understand. And it seems to me that what you're saying is not getting through to the American public. The American public just doesn't realize the serious seriousness of this. You may have heard this legislation, Bush uh, executive order he wrote on May the 9th. You may have heard something about that. Uh, I'm not sure that may not, but let me, let me answer the first part of your question. You raised a really good point. One of the things we did is we started talking to groups of folks about um, the Military Commissions Act because as soon as it was passed, we knew this was not something we could sit idly by. And we got groups of folks together across the country, and we talked to them about, you know, what was in the act and about the idea of habeas being taken away. And liberals, conservatives, conservatives actually were more angry than liberals. Conservatives, they believe in their constitution. They believe that government has to be limited, and they know that checks and balances and constitutional protections protect them. They thought that was the most horrible thing. But the comment of somebody as they were leaving the room is, well, thank God this hasn't happened yet. <laughs> they passed it in October of 2006. That was a big election. What was everybody paying attention to in October, November of 2006? Everyone was paying attention to the election. It got lost in the buzz. So that's the other reason why this June day is so important. If we have a few people there on Capitol Hill, nothing will happen. If we have tons of people there, and we've been doing, not only are we here, we're organized. I've been out in Oregon, we're here in Richmond. Uh, we are all over the place organizing. We have, uh, as, as Elizabeth mentioned, I'm with our field department, and that's what we do. We are organizing all across the country. Every state is getting involved. If on June 26th we have the thousands of people we expect, that gets the message out. So it's not that people don't understand, it's that they didn't hear, and once they hear, they care. So that's the other thing you can do. Even before June 26th, uh, uh, there are emails that we've sent out. If you go to, I should give you the website, www.juneaction.org. It's very simple, juneaction.org. Um, you can sign up there. There are emails that have been sent. If you forward them to even, we ask for five friends, but you were even forwarded for two friends, you are getting the word out. It explains again very simply. There's this great, have you, who's seen Mr. Habeas? <laughs> He's a little green guy. Yeah. Um, if it's another website. It's www.findhabeas.com. Um, again, most successful site we've ever launched. We explain to people a very simple term. There's a great blog there that talks about habeas. It gets word out to people, again, and as you said, in language that makes it very clear what's going on, and people care, and they're, uh, they're starting to pay attention. But June 26 was chosen as sort of the day where we can push this over the edge. Now, it's not official yet, but we actually have hope. There's good news. One, uh, last Thursday, June 7, the Senate had a hearing, a uh, committee hearing on S-185, the Habeas uh, Corpus Restoration Act, passed out of committee, 11 